Pluto, the dwarf planet, is an incomprehensibly long distance away. Seriously, it's currently more than 5 billion kilometers away from Earth, and it challenges the imagination that anyone could ever travel that kind of distance. And yet, NASA's New Horizons has been making the journey, and it's going to arrive there July 2015. Now, you may have just heard about this news, and I promise you, when New Horizons makes its close encounter, it's going to be everywhere. So let me give you the advanced knowledge on just how amazing this journey is and what it would take to cross this enormous gulf in the solar system. Pluto travels on a highly elliptical orbit around the Sun. At its closest point, known as perihelion, Pluto is only 4.4 billion kilometers out. That's nearly 30 AU, or 30 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And Pluto last reached this point on September 5th, 1989. At its most distant point, known as aphelion, Pluto reaches a distance of 7.3 billion kilometers, or 49 AU. And this will happen on August 23rd, 2113. Now I know, these numbers seem incomprehensible and they lose their meaning. So let me give you some context. Light itself takes 4.6 hours to travel from the Earth to Pluto. If you wanted to send a signal to Pluto, it would take 4.6 hours for your transmission to reach Pluto, and then an additional 4.6 hours for their message to return to us. So let's talk spacecraft. When New Horizons blasted off from Earth, it was going 58,000 kilometers per hour. And just for comparison, astronauts in orbit are merely jaunting along at 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's its speed going away from the Earth. When you add up the speed of the Earth, New Horizons was moving away from the Sun at a blistering 160,000 kilometers per hour. Now, unfortunately, the pull of gravity from the Sun slowed New Horizons down. So by the time it reached Jupiter, it was only going 68,000 kilometers per hour. It was able to steal a little velocity from Jupiter and crank its speed back up to 83,000 kilometers per hour. And when it finally reaches Pluto, it'll be going about 50,000 kilometers per hour. So how long did this journey take? New Horizons launched on January 19th, 2006, and it reached Pluto on July 14th, 2015. So do a little math, and you'll find that it's taken 9 years, 5 months, and 25 days. The Voyager spacecraft did the distance between Earth and Pluto in about 12.5 years, although neither spacecraft actually flew past Pluto. And the Pioneer spacecraft completed the journey in about 11 years. So could you get to Pluto faster? Absolutely, with a more powerful rocket and a lighter spacecraft payload, you could definitely shave down the flight time, but there are a couple of problems. Rockets are expensive, and coincidentally, bigger rockets are super expensive. The other problem is that getting to Pluto faster means that it's harder to do any kind of science once you reach the dwarf planet. New Horizons made the fastest journey to Pluto, but it's also going to fly past the planet at 50,000 kilometers per hour. That's less time to take high resolution images. And if you wanted to actually go into orbit around Pluto, you'd need more rockets to lose all that velocity. So, how long does it take to get to Pluto? Roughly 9 to 12 years. You could probably get there faster, but then you'd get less science done, and it probably wouldn't be worth the rush. So, are you super excited about the New Horizons flyby of Pluto? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Sankar James Fredsty and Gerald Sezko, and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. At its closest point, known as perihelion, Pluto is only, oh no, the font colors changed to purple. I don't know why.